Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're heading back to Hill 364 for a game of Chain of Command. Alright, so uh, yeah, don't adjust your television sets. This is not a repeat, uh, but this is a uh, sequel to the last Hill 364 that we did with on uh, Bolt Action, and today we're going to be playing a similar battle, not exactly the same because they're different games, but a very similar battle uh, using Chain of Command. Before we begin the briefing for tonight's game, there's a quick channel announcement, and you may have noticed in the intro, but we have a new channel sponsor, and that is Cigar Box Battle, and they are makers of fine battle mats such as this one that you see here, the New Europe 2 mat. Uh, we've seen this one several times, and I really like this one. As since I had to recreate this board uh, because we played that Saga game in between, I was able to just line it up how I lined it up last time. It took no time at all, so uh, that was a big perk of this particular mat was that I was able to get the mat um, or the board to look similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar to uh, what it was the last time we played Hill 364. So uh, Corey and I are going to be teaming up. And you're going to see more of uh, Cigar Box Battle Mats on uh, the channel. So thanks, Corey. And let's press on. In tonight's game, we see the British Expeditionary Force attempting to cut the corridor feeding the Panzers, which are racing to the channel by capturing Hill 364. The mission we will be using is Scenario 5 from the rulebook, Attack and Objective. The objective in this case will be a supply dump that is on Hill 364 in the final quarter of the table furthest from the British edge. To win the game, the British must simply capture the supply dump. And that is it. How hard could it be? To start the game, the defender will place four patrol markers on the objective. And the British player will place three or four patrol markers on the eastern board edge. And the British player will get up to four free moves as well as part of uh, the patrol phase. After the patrol phase is complete, both players will place three jump off points and the defending player will be able to place an additional jump off point on the objective. That will do it for the mission. Pretty straightforward. Now let's take a look at the forces. We begin with the British Expeditionary Force, the attacking force. And this is the 1940 British platoon from the Blitzkrieg 1940 handbook. They have a force rating of minus one, and they are regulars. Begin with the platoon commander. Again, we have Lieutenant Doug Eaglesham. And he is assisted by his capable Piper Biff Robertson. And then we also have a second senior leader in this platoon. And this is platoon sergeant Andrew Cox. So he was... Uh, he was a squad leader in the last one, but he's been promoted to platoon sergeant for this one because we have one less squad. Sorry, section. <laughs> so we got, uh, this time we only have three sections. Each section is a seven-man rifle team, a three-man Bren team, and a corporal with a rifle. So the British player will have an option to crew an empty boys AT rifle if they so choose. Uh, but if they don't, then they will just keep the seven-man rifle teams. And last but not least, we have the mighty two-inch mortar, which may be the star of the game in this one, uh, if the Germans decide to bring in 88. But uh, yeah, so that is it. That is the entire platoon. Not really a whole lot to talk about. It's just your bare-bones, basic 1940 BEF rifle platoon. So let's go take a look at the Germans. have the German platoon. So this is the third wave German division from the 1940 Blitzkrieg book. They're a little bit worse than your frontline infantry platoons, but uh, they're still armed similar to the to the regular platoons. Uh, they do have a different force morale track, which we'll get into uh, if, if it should come into play during the game. Uh, but they are regular and they have a force rating of zero. Commanding the platoon, we have Lieutenant Nils Vesterman, he is armed with pistol. And he is assisted by a second senior leader, and that is 
Platoon Sergeant Jens Kopke. The bulk of the platoon consists of three infantry squads. Each squad is a six-man rifle team, a three-man MG-34 team, and a junior leader sergeant with SMG. And this platoon does not have the 5 centimeter mortar. And that will do it for the forces. And we'll quickly take a look at the terrain. So we have Hill 364 here dominating the landscape. And the rules for the hill are going to be the same as they were last time. If you're up on top of the hill here or even on the second level, you can see over the hedges up to a certain point. We'll have to make decision uh, when the time comes. And you can even see over these trees, we're going to say all the way up until you get for advancing. You get up to here, you can't be seen because you're too close to the trees at that point. Other than that, the uh, main feature of this board are the hedges. Hedges are going to be uh, two inch visibility, soft cover, major obstacles. And we also have some wooden fences over there that are going to play exactly the same way. And then all the buildings are going to be hard cover. And yeah, I think that'll do it for the terrain. So quick intro tonight. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll wait for the uh, for Robert to get here, and then we'll begin the game. Quickly, I should mention the support points. We're going to be having uh, 13 support points for the British, plus one to that for the force rating difference, and that means that the um, Germans are only going to be getting. We're going to give them seven, seven support points. That way, if the German player wants to buy the 88, they can. I looked on the Consolidated Arsenal and the 88 was 7 points. So just to try to recreate Hill 364 a little bit more closely to how we played it in the bolt action, I would like the German player to have a chance to get the 88. I didn't want to make it mandatory because uh, Chain of Command is a little bit different game and limiting them to that 188 uh, might be a little harsh, but if the German player so chooses to bring the 88, he will be able to do so. All right, Robert's arrived. He's chosen to be the British. So uh, he, uh, he, he had the choice to do it. He picked the British. I'm going to be the German defenders. And we're gonna, what we're going to do now is we're going to roll force morale. Oh, I'm an 11. A very motivated British platoon. I got a 5, though. So I'm almost as motivated to defend Hill 364. All right, so he's been briefed. And what we'll do now is we will go ahead and do the patrol phase. start with the Germans here. I got the uh, one on the objective here. Free one. I've got another one just behind the woods there. I've got one there behind the hill. And I have another one. I was able to sneak one in over here on these hedges. And then Robert has one on the edge here. He's got another one there. And his third one is back there behind that house. And that will do it for the uh, patrol phase. Next up we're going to do our plans. So I'll start with the German plan. So uh, I'm going to bring the 88. What the hell? I've never brought an 88 in uh, bolt action, I think. Or I mean, uh, chain of command. So I'm going to bring it. Uh, I can deploy it right into these woods here, which will give it soft cover at least. And I also can deploy another squad in here to help it absorb hits. So I'm definitely going to deploy the 88 and one squad in here. Hope he doesn't have a pregame barrage. That could hinder my plans quite a bit. Uh, the other two squads... I'll, I don't know yet. I'm going to probably wait to see which side he goes on. Probably this side. So I may deploy one squad over here. I'm in a dangerous uh, position here because if I try to occupy these woods, these woods, and that, I'm going to be separated and I'm going to be easy pickings. So I need to try to stick together. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. So my plan is to put the 88 and a squad in here, possibly bring a squad in up here and move into these trees and possibly bring a squad into the orchard here to defend my right flank. Uh, it's really going to depend on which side the British go on uh, to uh, determine which way I'm going to focus my defense. So not much of a plan, but that, that's what I have for now. I don't really know anything until I see which way he goes. I'm kind of assuming this side since this is where most of his stuff is and he's got to cross a lot of open ground over there. But we'll see. So that is the German plan. So... Basically, I've got a jump-off point 
right here, jump off point back here, and jump off point behind that house. Objective is that woods. Got decent amounts of cover, except that if he's on the hill, he can see me and I can see him. So basically, this is a good spot for, sorry, this is a good spot for the uh, base of fire. As part of my support points, I took two Vickers medium machine guns. And so they're going to get deployed over there. I also have two uh, two inch mortars, which means I can cover my approach with smoke. I have a sniper team, which can also probably go in either in that house is a good place to put them, should there be anything irritating. And then the infantry can approach this way using smoke to cover their approach as they cross here. He does have the jump off point there, but again, with from my base of fire, as you can see, I can cover pretty much any of these um, deployed fa uh, faces. That's pretty much it. The, set up the base of fire in the rat bastard and uh, smoke the approaches to the objective. And to delay him, I've got a preliminary barrage, so that should keep him from deploying long enough for me to build up my nice smoke screen and get in. Um, fortunately, uh, I didn't have enough points for a three inch mortar barrage, which would have been the other um, less eloquent way to do it. So that's the plan, and we'll see how it plays out. I'll do it for the plants. So the attacking force has the initiative um, in the uh, first phase of the game. So here we go. Huh. Okay, a couple fives, a couple threes, and a four. So the uh, British, they have brought in two units, so on two threes they brought in a section here. Whose section is this? That's Downs, and then over here is Tudor. And they're both on Overwatch. And then he's also brought in Andrew Cox, the platoon sergeant up here with Downs' section. And that's it. So we'll move on to the... British, or I'm sorry, the Germans, the Germans. So uh, I have been informed that we are being shelled in our assembly area. So it is, there is a pregame barrage on right now. Okay, well, I got two fives. That's convenient. And uh, two twos and a one. Hmm. I'm going to try to bring a section in with the, uh, I'll try, to, I'll start with the two. I'll try to bring a section in with the two. No. And I will stop there. I will not try anything else so it is on to the British uh, British phase all right well one one two something something uh, three four yep. <laughs> okay the British have brought in two Vickers machine guns so we got one here along the fence there's also a second Vickers inside of this building here so a good base of fire here and he's brought Eagle Sham and his buddy in over here Presumably, presumably to control the two Vickers. He was he was late of the machine gun corps in the last war. Okay, <laughs> or his dad was. The uh, so Eagle or uh, Tudor and his men have come run down this way to swing around the edge of the hedge. It's too hard to get over. He and could have been a reservist. He's brought in Jeff Smith's section here, mm -hmm. and then uh, that section there, along with Cox, has just stayed put. And that is it. So that is everything. So that is, well, he still has stuff off the board, I'm assuming, but mm -hmm. he does not have an adjutant. He's got both senior leaders on, so he's going to have to start rolling to bring them in uh, when they come in. So we'll move on to the German phase. Okay, another five, which is handy. And a wasted six, a three, and two fours. I'll just do this. Yeah, man. Yeah, i got to start trying to bring stuff in through the brush. I'm going to see if I can bring in a section. Yes. Yes. So one section will come in. I'm also going to see if I can bring in a senior leader since I have the two fours here. Yes. yes. So section and senior, senior leader coming in. So my German squad has come in. Uh, we are more than four inches from the edge, so we are out of line of sight to all of the British on Overwatch. And then I brought Vesterman in with them. Uh, so we are uh, positioned behind the trees here just to get something on, to try to get through the barrage. And now the uh, British phase. Okay, here we go. Another five, so you're up to three. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one, a two, and two fours. First thing that uh, Robert did, he brought his two inch mortar. 
they got in, even though he doesn't have any leaders, but he did roll a five. And he is going to use the line of sight from Downs' section mm -hmm. to attempt to fire a, a smoke shell right there. So needing a, nope. a three. Three it is. Um, six inch over. It's going to land over here somewhere. Okay. There is the smoke. It's uh, drifted over a little bit too much, but uh, that's fine. So what do you, that was a one, so he's still got another one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's got a two. A the, two and two fours. The two, I'm going to order them to run. Uh, Tudor with the two has run around. He got a 14-inch run. Uh, Cox was there to take the shock off from the run. And that was it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's it for the British. I wanted the German phase. Come on, double phase. <laughs> no, another five though. So I got four. Wait, two more fives. Damn. That's five. I'm up to five. Yeah, I could end that pregame barrage pretty soon. And I'm one and a three to play with. I'm going to try to bring a section in through the barrage with the three. Nope. No. Damn barrage. I had Andre in that super Soviet barrage the other day. <laughs> I'm not having any better luck with this one, to tell you the truth. Uh, that leaves me with a one, which I have nothing, so on to the British. Okay. Here we go, British. Whew. Wasted six, another five, five. So you're up to four. A three and two fours. Sham. The first thing that uh, is going to happen, he's going to have Eagle Sham attempt to uh, fire another smoke round over here. The gap in the head. The not. Right. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah, that one. So needing a five again. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. We'll put the smoke out. With the three, he had Corporal Tudor run his men up. And then with his remaining command, Tudor took one of the shock off. And then the uh, platoon sergeant Cox took the other one off. So Tudor section is now up here. And we're saying you can't see over the barn. Just because it's, uh, well, you know, it's a barn. <laughs> and that'll do it. So on to the German phase. All right. Let's see here. I need a, uh, I need a five. Let's just get a five and end this thing. No, you don't. Yeah, we got a five. Okay, so okay. we're up to a chain of command dice. That was fast, <laughs> mercifully fast, and then one and two twos. So I'm gonna try to bring a section in through the uh, barrage in, in this turn as well with the two and the one. Yes. Okay. The squad has come in uh, in the orchard, opposing the BEF platoon here or down as a squad. And I'm not gonna end the turn yet. So I'm gonna ultimately, I would love to get a double phase and then end the turn, get rid of all the. Uh, Overwatch and then pop in with everything and do some shooting. British phase. Still no double phases. Okay, so no double uh, phases. two threes. And a, a four and a, and a two and a six. Six. First right thing there. he did was uh, he had Tudor put his section on Overwatch covering the hill. Well, some of them. The rifle team's mostly blocked. But Eagle Sham back there is going to have the two inch mortar. Okay, go for it. Leading to five. Yep. Two. No, two. Six inches to the left. So that'll be... Right there. The smoke um, has landed there. So that was a four. A three. He's got a, a two and a three left. These guys here. Uh, third section. Jeff Smith's boys. Tried again to jump the fence or the hedge. Couldn't make it. No, it was a different... Oh yeah, that was that's right. Last time it was another section that ran around. Mm -hmm. I think it was these guys here, yeah. Tudor. But he's on Overwatch now. They're uh, bunching up along the hedge, and then the smoke came in. And that's it. So German phase. Here we go. German phase. I need a double phase here, man. If I never needed one, it's now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I wasted six. Another five though. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then a two fours and a one. That's not very good. So, let me think. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. It's not a really good roll, so I'm just going to sit tight, defend. Oh, good. Two more fives, so you're going to be up to a six. Six. And then two ones. Mm -hmm. Two incher coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I do have another two incher. I, I will do take have it. two of them. All right, we'll get that up. Second two inch motors come back here with Eagle, Sham, and Robertson. And he is going to fire as well. So, where are you, where are you aiming at this one? This um, one. You see that... Um, Crossroads? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Right in the crossroads. All right, let's see what you get. Nope, so it's... Three. That's uh, six inches over, so it's going to be back here somewhere. Yep. There's the smoke. Uh, it's, so we got a, quite a bit of smoke piling up over here on the German side. 
So that was a one, and you have a one and a four left. Yep, so I'm going to try bringing in a sniper. Sniper? Oh god, here we go. No. No sniper. And then the four, Eagle Shame's going to fire the other... The other um, two-inch mortar? Two-inch mortar. It's going to put it in the gap between the hedge and that copse of trees. Right here? No. Um, right here. Oh, up there, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, roll your d6. Nope. What was it, a two? two. So he has uh, successfully obscured his Bren team, <laughs> which is mm -hmm. good for me. I think that's it it's for you, It's good for right? me, so you can't shoot him either. That's not an issue. Um, <laughs> I'm more worried about getting shot at by two, two uh, Vickers, three sections, or two sections. Okay, so you all done? Mm-hmm. All right, so move on to the British phase. Sorry, British phase. Come on, double phase. Man, I haven't seen a double phase yet today, but another chain of command point. Two twos, a one, and a three. Uh, the Germans are just going to sit tight. Yeah, no point. No point in uh, popping out yet or showing my hand. We're just going to wait for the uh, BEF to show up. So British phase. British phase. That's pretty good. Two ones, two, a three, and a four. That's uh, plenty to work with. Bring in the sniper. Yep. Yeah, he is. Okay, we'll get the sniper out. So the sniper has come in uh, to that window right there. And then he is again going to have Eagle Sham have a two inch mortar try to drop it right about where that piece of grass is. Nope. No. So it's. A two. Goes it. Six inches left. So it's going to land right yeah. where the other one was. Essentially. Okay. And the other two inch mortar is going to fire there as well. Okay. A four. Four. Four says. Long or short? Six inches short. So it's going to be back here. Back but, in that gap. Okay. Yeah. That. So there's the smoke now. So we got a lot of two inch mortar smoke out here, which is good and bad. Uh, it's good for me. And I would actually wouldn't mind if there was a couple of smokes right up in here, to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, that'll do it. So on to the uh, German phase. Never mind, he's got a three and a two and a uh, one left. <laughs> so um, he's got more stuff to do here. They're going over the hedge. Okay. So in the end, hedge. he had Tudor's section uh, hop over. They're essentially hiding behind that barn. Tudor's with them. There's just mm -hmm. kind of uh, limited space behind the barn. And then Smith's section has also hopped over the fence. I think that'll do it. That'll so do it. On to the German phase. All right, double phase. I'm waiting for a double phase here so I can spring my trap. Yes. Oh, double phase and three threes. Okay, you can spring your trap. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> About that. Now that I've got, got it, what the hell am I going to do with it? This section has moved up here to the uh, path. And I did bring my 88 in with a three. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, you got the pregame barrage going still, yeah, don't you? I need I to do. still roll for that. Yes, you do. I guess I should do that. You do not have your So the 88 is not coming in. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll recalibrate. Well, that didn't work out. So I decided, well, my plan was I brought the 80, 88 in. I was going to bring it in, not fire it, so that I didn't take the overwatch. Well, I guess I could have fired it, but, and then I was going to move this section up into the woods. They were going to trigger the overwatch from the Vickers guns. But I was going to just be content with ha uh, taking that. But that is not going to happen now. No, no, so, we, uh, we shelled the 88. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn my chain of command dice and end the turn. Okay. The turn is now ended, and I have... All the smoke is gone, all the overwatch is gone as well. So now I will move on to my second phase. <laughs> Another double, <laughs> Another double phase with four. Oh, well, that didn't help out. That means I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, you're done then. Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah, okay. Well, that, uh, I got what I wanted. I ended the turn, and then I rolled total shit on my second roll. So, uh, yeah, German, or, uh, British phase. That sucked ass. Okay, next. Five, a six, two threes, and a two. BEF. So, start up here with Downs. He put his section on Overwatch again, covering the gap here in case these boys move up. Uh, Jeff Smith and the boys have moved up to the hedge here with a good line of sight that direction. And then finally, Tudor's men are inside the barn. There's the Bren in the window uh, over here. There's a little loophole here where one man's firing, and then there's a window where two men are firing out. Now we'll do it for the British phase. Let's see what the Germans can do. 
Hey, another double phase <laughs> and two fours. <laughs> still no, I can't still still can't bring in the eighty-eight. Okay. Well, okay then. Uh, two fours. What did I even have? I got Vesterman, Vesterman here. Vesterman, or you could bring your other one in. Those guys aren't on Overwatch though, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. I do have a chain command die though. You do. Okay. Let me think about it. In the end, I just had Vesterman move this section up into the trees, and uh, no Overwatch fire coming from those Vickers. Now I gotta hope I roll a three on the second phase here. Come on, dude, give me a three, damn you. You got one. Okay, I got two, two yeah. And then two more fives, so I got another five. chain of command. There you nice. go. Excellent. So I brought in the 88, I guess I should show that. The 88's there, I got a squad next to them, both in the woods on the hill, and I was gonna have the squad fire at the Vickers that was there. He interrupted, he ran the Vickers around, so mm -hmm. I can't see it anymore. So instead I'll have the squad shoot at Smith's section. Okay. And then I'll have the 88 fire. Well, now that uh, I'm not gonna fire at the, at the rat bastard anymore, I'm gonna fire into this uh, barn here. Okay. So the 88 will fire into the barn, and then that other section of British or German infantry will fire at Corporal Smith's section. First thing is the 88 is going to fire at Smith's boys. Oh, I'm sorry, the barn. Yeah. So here we go. Um, HE is uh, only seven, so it's only one HE better than a 7.5 centimeter infantry gun. So it's not super great in this game. Now, if we brought a Matilda or something, it'd be awesome. <laughs> but we didn't. So here we go. Two, Two whole hits. hits. Look out. Okay, so one on the Brent team and one on the um, rifle team. Rifle team. They're in hard cover, but the 88 knocks it down to soft. Okay. Green is the Bren team, so a point of shock on the Bren team. Okay, well that was not very effective. Yeah, the, I figured the 88 wasn't going to be great in this game. Unless you brought a tank. I was thinking you might I bring a Matilda or something. But if you don't bring a tank, then really it's just basically having an infantry gun up there. Mm -hmm. It's not super great. Um, okay, next is going to be the section is going to fire at Smith. So the machine gun and the rifle team uh, firing needing fives. One, two, three, four, four hits. Okay. So two on the rifle team, two on the Bren team, and we're in soft cover. So the green is the Bren? Green is the Bren team. Okay. Ooh. Two dead and two, a shock on each. That's not good. So check your leader. Yeah. No. He did not go down. But we did kill one of each team and then a shock on each. In the end, uh, not a whole lot, but like uh, Robert was just saying, I did make him burn a chain of command dice. I made him move his Vickers. I killed two guys. I put two shock. Could have been better, but I'll, I'm happy with it. That's not bad. Two more fives. Two fours and a three. It's really all I need. First thing that happened, use a four. Cox moved up. He pulled a couple shock uh, off of this sprint team and that rifle team. He used a three to have... It's Tudor. Tudor. Tudor, uh, who is in here, he's going to order his Bren to do focus fire onto my MG34 team. That's 66, right? For Bren gun? Yep. And then you need fives. Well, I need fives. Nothing that matters. Because you're over 18. Okay. <laughs> Even all added up, you might not yeah, get the five. No. Okay. And he's got a four left. Eagle Shan will now order the first two inch mortar to try and smoke out the 88. It is Not to the right. Even close. Six inches to the right. So it'll land on those guys. Okay. The first smoke, you're going to fire the second smoke. Dead on. Uh, is it a four? Five. A five? Okay, Dead yeah, on. You nailed it. All right. So he's so going to smoke the 88. smoked out. 88 is now smoked out, and then he is going to use Eagle Sham's final command to order that Vickers that ran off earlier into the bottom floor of the Rat Bastard. And that'll do it for the British. Right. We're in phase. Okay, another six. So I'm back uh, working on my second dice here, mm -hmm. and I have one, two, three, four to play with. I brought my last section in here. I brought Kopke in with them, so he's going to be controlling these two. While well, Vesterman is up here with the, well, these guys are pretty much blind now, so uh, that'll do it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. So now I just sit back and wait for the BEF to get here and uh, see what happens. British phase. Ooh, so double, double phase. phase. And I was just about to say, you haven't gotten a double in three fours. <laughs> three fours. Which isn't horrible for you. No, that is actually bunch of exactly what I need. Smoke. First thing he's going to do is going to have Eagle Sham um, try and drop a smoke here to block these guys. 
going to be four, which I think is long. No, nope, short. If it would right, so if it was right going now. here, it would go right here. So another smoke round going in. It's long, so it would be there. Okay. So the first thing, uh, he had Cox here. Order First he took the shock off of Smith's whatever team had the shock on it. He ordered them over, so they are now on the uh, other side of the hedge. And then he's going to have the section in here, put covering fire down right here to block that, which is probably a smart move. And then you saw the smoke. And the final command of Eagle Sham was to have that Vickers that was in the bottom of the Rat Bastard has moved into the wood line there. Mm -hmm. Out of sight. And that is it. So uh, German face. All right, it's a double face for the British. Not bad at all. So what do you got there? Two fours, a three, That's and two ones. A lot of stuff. So popping in here real quick, Jeff Smith and his section have moved across the way into the wood line. Eagle Sham has put that Vickers in that window there onto Overwatch. And Eagle Sham is also gonna fire another mortar two inch smoker uh, right here at this hedge again. On target. Nailed it. So the gap is filled. So this is gonna be filled in. So that was a four. And his third one is going to the bottom of the Rat Bastard. And he's gonna move himself into the Rat Bastard. And Cox has put the Bren in this window over here on Overwatch. He's re Initiated the covering fire again from the rifles in the uh, little side building here, and that was it. So on to the Germans. Here we go. Double phase. Well, that's always convenient. Another five and a three and a one. With this first phase here, I am not going to do anything. But I am going to end the turn, so we're going to clear all the smoke, all the overwatches. We're going to do this again. And hopefully this time, I can get some threes and fours here. Nope. So we move straight into the next German phase. Well, Only one. Ones. Robert cleans the board up. Probably a bunch of sixes or fives. Well, another five. So I did in the turn, so I'll butt burn that. And a one, a three, and a four. That should be enough. Or I had Cocky here move both of these squads up one inch, or a 1d6. So they're both going to be able to fire half effect. They're out of line side of the barn. They're in line side of the barn. The one I'm going to have the 88 fire, since it's a team. And the 88 and the, the last three, I'm going to have this squad fire. And we're going to put everything into uh, Smith and that Vickers team in the woods. First thing I'll do is I'll have this squad fire at Downs. So I need fours. Ah, three hits, okay, okay, split them up. Two on the rifle, one on the brand. Okay. They're in the same cover, so. Yep, soft cover. Don't care, don't care, one dead. Dead rifle. Check your leader. Um, okay. Nope. nope. So one dead rifleman. Okay, so next will be this squad here that Cocky's with. Okay. They're going to get six shots. One, two, three, three. hits. Okay, same okay. split. Same deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Two dead and a shock on the rifles. Oh, shit. Why don't you check your leader? And... No. no. Damn. So, yeah... And a shock on the rifle team. Okay. So this squad has uh, taken some damage. Mm -hmm. And then the 88. We'll fire the 88 first. Two, four, six. Okay. Seven. Seven at these boys here in the yep. woods. There's two, three groups there, so I'm going to split them up three ways. Yeah. 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 You know what? Now that I know that, I'm going to change my target. I'm going to fire at... Uh, the barn? The barn, yeah. Okay. Because I'll be hitting just the barn guys. Okay. So I will fire the 88 at the barn. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. So I'll split those up. Yep. Three on the Bren, three on the... Dropping it down to soft cover. Yep. One Bren gunner dead. That's it. Um, yeah, just one Bren gunner dead. It's not Tudor. Okay, so you're keeping track of those guys over there? Yeah. All right, and then the squad will. How am I going to shoot out with the squad? I was going to fire at them, but I think I'll fire up into the rat bastard window. Okay. So firing into the rat bastard here at the Vickers. There's a sniper in there too, but I don't think you can spread the snipers. Can I don't you? think you can. So I need fives. 
one, two, three, four, five hits. Five hits in hard cover. Yep, the rat bastard. Always is and always will be hard cover. Until hit by ET. <laughs> one point of shock. Okay, so a point of shot on the shock on the Vickers. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm done. So not super effective, but whatever. We did kill, actually no, I take that back. We did some work, we did work over Downs' section quite, uh, yeah, pretty well. he got handled pretty badly. Okay, so that'll be the British phase. Uh, he rolled before I was ready, but he did roll a double phase, so we'll let okay. him keep it. Yeah. And then what do you wind up with? So three of four and uh, five and two sixes. Three and a four to work with. First thing, he's gonna have Eagle Sham fire. He's gonna try to block off uh, the um, German squad. German squad with the smoke ground. No. It's short, so it'll land right about here. Okay. Still blocks them. Next uh, thing Eagle Sham's gonna do is gonna have this Vickers in the window uh, fire at these guys. Three hits. Three hits. All right, I'll put uh, one on each team. Okay. Thank one you. on the rifle team, one on the 88, and one on the machine gun. So 88. Hit. Oh, no. Uh, the rifle team. That's a machine shock. Gun. Oh, hit. damn. So two dead. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, let me check some leaders. So the 88. Not the leader. The squad. Not the leader. So it's a dead, a dead, a dead and a shock. Shock. Vickers is going to shoot from uh, the wood line. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can see the guys behind there. I think you might be within, you'll be within 24 for this Oh, one. yeah. Okay. Eight fours. Two Didn't hits. Help you. <laughs> Didn't help you at all. Okay, the 88 will fire. I mean, I'm sorry, the 88 will take one, and then uh, the rifle team will take one. So 88, rifle team, nothing. Okay. It's off cover. Okay, so that's Eagle Sham. That's all yep. three of his. And then with my three, they're going to fire back at you. These boys here, down so these boys. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's gonna order. He's gonna remove the shock, and then shoot you. Okay. Fours. Twelve shots. That's the rifle, the brand, and downs. Oh. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's eight. Eight hits. Okay. Eight hits. Damn. All right. So uh, we'll start off with the uh, rifle team. Say seven hits. Seven hits. Yeah. Okay, we'll start off with the rifle team. Dead in a shock. Shock. And then the MG34 team. Two, Two shock. shock. And see if I got the junior leader. Oh god, no. 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 Man, no leaders hit tonight. Okay. So one guy from the rifle team. Two shock on the machine gun team. And it was, I believe, one shock on the rifle team. Okay, yep. that's downs. Next phase. Alright, yeah, a five. She's up to five chain of command points. So one, mm -hmm. a two, a three, and a four. Yahtzee. Uh, so the sniper with the one is going to fire at the 88. So I think you hit on a three. Okay. Just outright. Got it. Hit. Okay, and you ignore all cover, everything. The count is in the open. It's double shock. Double shock. Double shock. Uh, double shock. So two shock on the 88. Yep. From the sniper. Okay, that's a one. Then um, got a two, three, four left. The Vickers. So Eagle Chan's gonna have the Vickers and the Rat Bastard fire. No, he's up. gonna have this Vickers fire. I don't think he's within range of them. He's got um, nine inches. He's right at the door. Oh, he's at, oh, he's in the building. He's okay. in the building. Yeah. Right, sorry about that. Oh, okay. Is he still within nine of the mm -hmm. Vickers? Yeah, because. All right, here we go. Uh, needing fours. Needing fours. Firing up on the hill. Four hits. Okay, uh, I got three teams there, so I'll put mm -hmm. uh, I'll put two on the eighty-eight. Okay. Um, I do have the gun shield. I don't think we've been doing that. I think that increases my cover by one. So you, it would be in hard cover. On yeah. The yeah. It didn't matter. You rolled them. So nothing, nothing on the eighty-eight. And then the rifles. They're dead. <sighs> Machine gun. Dead. <laughs> See if I got the leader. Oh my god. No. No. Still no leaders. Wow. Not one leader hit tonight. Okay. Yes, but I did lose a guy in each of these yep. teams. Second order. Smoke around on the 88 from Eagle Sham. It is 
to the left. Left, yeah. So, so it's it, gonna be right there. Over here somewhere. So it landed here, then he fired the second one. Second one landed it. So we're back to the smoke. So that's it for Eagle Sham and his four. Yep. So with and the used two. a one for the sniper, so you got a two and a three left. Yep. So with the two, he had Smith's boys just kind of spread out into the wood line there. Yep. And with so his last three, he's going to have down Can they ones. fire half effect and then fall back? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're going to fire half effect and fall back. Okay, so I'll right, count them up. Good shot. Need a force. Three hits. All right, I'll put two on the rifles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I roll the six every time. And then the machine gun. Uh, nothing. nothing. So check the leader. No. Dead rifle though. We get him kind of picked off here and he's going to fall back. Fall back four inches. So he'll be out of line of sight of me now. Okay. That's fine. Downs in uh, his section have now ended up back here. So it's uh, on to the Germans. Bad Germans. Here we go. So another five, which I think takes me to four. Two ones and a two. Use the two and both ones to activate Kotki. And he has pulled two shock off these guys since they're out of line of sight of everything at now since Downs pulled back. And then he uh, ordered with his last command these guys pull back just barely two They did get two inches, but they are out of uh, line of sight now of everything, including the, the uh, little trees there and the barn. So we are now on to the British phase. Go for it. Two threes. Two and two ones. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So Eagle Sham has put both Vickers on Overwatch, and he's going to have the uh, second or one of the two-inch mortars fire right there. Right there. Okay, we're going to memorize this at some point. <laughs> um, short, <laughs> four inch, yeah. six inches short. So it's going to be like back here somewhere. Perfect. But the one, the second two-inch mortar is going to fire right there. Dead so on. It. Okay, he's nailed it. There it is. Okay, so that's uh, a one. Is that everything? Really? What do you have left here? I have a two and a three. Two and a three. With a three, the guys in the woods are going on Overwatch. Okay. Uh, the these guys went on Overwatch, and then uh, Tudor has rushed out of the barn, and he is now at the base of Hill 364. So he's making a run on his own. Uh, we'll see how that works out for him piecemeal. And that'll do it. Or are you done? Mm-hmm. All right, German, uh, German phase. Germ see what happens here. One, no two, double three, phase. Two, four, no double phase. A lot of stuff, but I have a lot of smoke blocking my line of sight. So yep. see. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do. Uh, the Germans, I use a one and a two to make a three to activate the uh, junior leader for the 88. He pulled the two shock. And over here, I've used a three to activate this first section. He pulled all the shock. They moved up. And then I moved this section up with Kopke as well. So we're we're pulling an Andre here. We're going on the attack. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, we'll move on to the British phase. Oh, three fours and two ones. So, okay, a lot of movement. Uh, first, uh, Eagle Sham had Downs move his boys back this no, direction. That was Cox had. Oh, Cox, I'm sorry. And then Cox has gone over. He's now within nine of them. Smith is uh, in his section have come out sort of hesitantly out of the wood line, only four inches. Uh, with the two ones, he had both uh, both of the uh, two-inch mortars rush out. One of them got a triple six on his move. There he is. So yeah, eighteen-inch move for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think that was it. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. So German phase. German. Another five. And then one, two, two, damn it. I think I had a four shit. Kopke has uh, made, well, I tried to get the rifle team up along the hedge or all the double one, but the machine gun is within two inches of the hedge, so he can see them. And the machine gun will fire at Jeff Smith's section. Okay. One, two, three, four hits. I was going to ask you to measure, but it uh, doesn't matter. No. So four um, hits in the open, or no, we'll even give you soft cover because I'm shooting the hedge. Yeah. Okay. Four hits. Green is the brand team, Bl uh, black is the rifle. Nobody cares. Not a damn thing. 
Okay, well that's it for me. And then I just put, uh, I had Vesterman put everyone over here on Overwatch. Okay. Um, that's it. Yep, that's it. So the British phase. All right, Eagle Sham. Let's do it. Oh, Double oh, phase. Shit. Double phase. And yeah. a chain of command die. Oh boy. And then only a two and a one to work with though. First thing that's going to happen with the one, one of the two inch mortars is going to try to block this little gap here. Dead on. He nailed it. And then uh, that was it. So the one, he did the two inch mortar and with the two he had Corporal Smith and his boys uh, got a good move. Ten inch move on 2d6. So they're up on, t on top of hill 364 now. On top of All right, dude. Let's do it. All sixes now. <laughs> Clear some of the smoke out of here. <laughs> now it's a good roll. So one, two, three, three. three yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Eagle Sham is going to fire a smoke round, or have the two-inch motor fire a smoke round on the tree. No. To the left, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to the left. So it drops <laughs> on the 88. So it's back on the 88. Okay. Second one, I want that gap smoked. Okay. No, to, to the, the right, right, so it'll smoke right there. Over there. I got smoke landed there, but there is still a small gap here, so... Yep. So, here comes the fun part. With the two... Um... So, Tudor here has gone overwatch. And then... Smith and his section creeped up the hill two inches on 2d6. <laughs> yeah. So, they're not uh, real, real enthused about going into those woods up on hill 364 there. They don't know what's nope. there. And that'll do it. So, uh, German face. All right, a triple six here would be nice. <laughs> in, that, in an ideal world, because then all the smoke would clear, mm -hmm. uh, and then you'd just be standing out there with your, uh, you know what, in your hand. Mm -hmm. No. No. But I did get a chain of command dice. Yes, you did. And another one. And then a three and a four to work with. Mm -hmm. With the four, Cocky has ordered uh, this section up. They moved it. They got all the way up to the hedge. And then he's moved them over. They got a pretty bad move, but they're starting to head that direction. And then over here, I just pulled the shock. So British face. Keep, keep expecting to see that double phase. Another five though. Mm -hmm. We both have a chain of command dice and you got a one, two, four to work with. Mm -hmm. First thing that's happening is uh, Cox on the four has hopped the hedge. He's gonna have downs as guys, or he's gonna have the downs as uh, Bren team, focus fire onto the MD-34 team. Need fours in soft cover. Three hits. Okay, all in the Bren team? Uh, machine gun team, yeah. Oh, machine gun team. One shot. It's a point of shock. Okay, and then yeah, um, downs. It's going to order the five right, the four riflemen, five riflemen, and five himself. rounds rapid. And himself. Five rounds rapid. So, what does that do? You can add 2d6. Okay. So it'd be eight. Eight shots, oh boy. Dang, let me double check. So eight shots, and down, so it's him, his rifleman, and then his command initiatives. So back at these boys. Whoo! Four hits. Four hits this time. But this is this I can split up. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do uh, two on the rifle team. One Point shot. shot. And the MG34 boys. Oh, I'm dead. dead guy. And? Oh, God. Yes! Oh, finally, someone got hit. We haven't lost a force morale yet in this entire game, <laughs> which is amazing to me. Uh, we'll see what happens to him. Four. Uh, it's a light wound. So he is going to take a light wound. Yep, and? And a bad thing happens. A two. Junior leader wound is probably nothing. Um, where's the bad things happen table? So nothing. Okay. Uh, but he is down a command, so that is something. But yeah. no force morale. So I'm still at 10. Yep. Robert's still at 11 after all this time, which is uh, amazing to me. Okay, so uh, on to the German phase. German. Two more <laughs> fives. Okay, yeah. well, I'm really not needing fives. But one, two, four is not horrible. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use the two and the one to activate... This wounded junior leader. And he is going to have the, everyone fire at Corporal Downs' section. So I'm going to get quite a bit of shooting here. So the submachine guns in range, the machine gun, and one rifle 
are uh, within are right up against the head. So they're going to be shooting in the open. We're going to say these three guys are going to be shooting uh, through light cover. So need fours. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, five. hits on you. Okay. And you split them up. So the brand's going to be uh, green. Green. Which and ones were the guys firing from cover? Uh, I haven't rolled those yet. Oh. Ah, so two, two dead, dead and three, three shot. shot. And doing some damage. Ah, it's is down. It? Or no, no, see which one it is. See which yeah. one it is. So three dead. Downs. It is downs. He loses a command. So two dead. A wounded downs. And you had three shock? Yeah. Nobody uh, cares. Nothing. No and the three remaining. No, the three, these are going to be in light cover. Yeah, and I had three shots. And I just straight up missed anyway. Okay, so it's two shock on the rifles, one shock on the brand. Okay, and the last thing I did is I had, uh, with the four, Kopke had this squad run out in this direction. I don't know why, but we need to get in the fight, so we're coming out. We'll see what happens, and that's it for the Germans. For this phase. Okay. A five, a one, it's two twos. Two fours and a... And another chain of command dice. Point. Cox himself can buff fire. Yep, first thing that's going to happen is uh, Cox is going to activate. He pulled a couple shock. Yep. And then he's going to have them fire back. So he's got a rifle. Downs has got a rifle. he got a brand and two rifles. I need four. So six, seven, eight, nine. You should have ten shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Yep, ten shots. Need four. Need four. Ooh, I'll Pretty take good. seven. Seven? Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, all right, so we'll put uh, four onto the rifle team. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Not lucky. Three on the machine gun team. Three on the MG34. One uh, shock. Point of shock. Seven hits, one point of shock. I'll take it. Okay, right, so next. that's a four. Eagle Sam's going to order the light motor to block these guys off. No, it is to the left, so it's going to be next to them. Uh, so that's going to be over here somewhere. Yep, and then the same other light mortar, same thing. Same thing. Same result. So, so there's, there's two smokes, smokes right coming off over here. We're running out of smoke here. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. so that's a four. That's two fours. So yep. you got a one and a two left. So is that, uh, who is that over there, Smith? So yeah. Smith, Smith has skirted the hill. There is a second layer here. So he avoided my overwatch there. Uh, he's skirting around that way. And that's really it. Mm -hmm. So back to the Germans. Okay, what do we need here? Five one. End of turn. Not even close. One, two, two, three, four. So I used a, uh, I got plenty of options here, but I moved them over there. What the hell, why not? We're gonna go get them in the woods. And then these guys went on overwatch just to cover this gap. We can't quite see them yet, just because of the way the smoke is lined up, but if they move, we can see them. And then I'm gonna have this section fire again at those guys. So it's the same thing, uh, 10 shots. Uh, needing force. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five hits on you. Okay, in the three open. in the um, Bren, two in the rifles. Okay. They're all over there. All right, then. Three dead. Oh, wow. Mm, so, two on the rifles, one on the brand. Check your leader. Yeah. No. Oh, damn. So, one, the brand, the rifle team is gone. So, that's a team wiped out. I don't think, no, you only had two rifles and one brand killed. Yeah. Oh, there's you only, only had... two guys left. In the oh, rifle okay. Team. Bad thing happens. Bad things happens. Team wiped out. Oh, okay. That's bad. That might be something finally. Uh, team wiped out on a five, uh, minus, uh, minus one. Okay. <laughs> Man, it is moving slow. So you're down to ten? Yep. Jeez, this is the slowest moving force morale game I think I've ever played in my life. But he is getting whittled down over here. So let's mm -hmm. roll, uh, we got our three guys that are shooting through soft cover. One, one hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Roll, roll over here. Nothing. Uh, two, nothing. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, well we put a hurting on those boys, and then that's it. Uh, that's it for me. So in an interesting turn of events, Robert has ended the turn. So we lost all our smoke, we lost all Overwatch. 
Oh god, if you get a double phase here, it could be game over. No. Um, but I got a four. I'll make it work. And First thing that's gonna happen is this uh, these this Vickers gun is gonna fire at these guys. But I do have a dice. I may mm -hmm. interrupt. Interrupt. And I'm gonna have Cocky and his squad, or the squad he's with, charge. Uh, into Tudor's boys here just for the hell of it. We'll see what happens. So we'll count them up. So in the end We're gonna have 18 dice each Because I got the I got Kopke and his SMG. I got the squad leader with his SMG. He's got I got my movement for him He's got my uh, he's got his LMG So it's a uh, straight up just fight so Okay, just to roll the dice. So go ahead. Okay, so here's the first six uh, Not uh, one he got so one, it's one. Okay. Second six. Oh shit. Keep four. Up. That's four sixes. That's not good. Yeah. Oh boy. And I got another <laughs> six. And two, two more. more. So yeah, that's a lot. So five sixes and two fives. Yep. I'm just gonna roll all mine at once, man, because uh why not? Four sixes and one five. Three, four sixes. Oh, I lost. Yeah. Big time. Big time. You lost by three because I've got yeah. eight and you got five. Not a good roll of the dice. Five dead and four shocks. So roll your leader. Yep. It's him. See what, see what happens to him. He's killed. So. Tudor's dead. Tudor's down. So okay. you're going to lose. One. One, two, three, four, four guys. Okay. And you're going to take four shock. Two, three. And then my leader is automatically hit because you five. got six. So we'll see which one it is. Two it's, oh uh, God, it's cocky. See what happens to him. He takes a wound. Four bad things real quick. So cocky, uh, it's got to be a minus one probably for senior leader. Wounded. Yeah. So I'm down to nine. So roll yours. Junior leader killed. Oh, that's minus two. two. I can only have to look that one up. Yeah. So you're down to uh, eight. eight. I'm down to nine. Okay, so I've lost. So one of these was the so leader. Six more guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you take five shock. Five you, shock. You're pinned. I'm screwed. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, I'm pinned. <laughs> Um, but I'm also going to lose by what three? Yeah. So I'm going to uh, see what happens there. Okay, so I uh, I lost by three. I took so I got nine pins with one, two, three, five dudes. They broke. Uh, I guess I should do section breaks. Yeah. Four. Minus two. That's harsh. So I'm down to seven. Seven. Um. He's got four shock with five guys, so he's still in the fight here. Yep. And yeah, okay, you're gonna shoot. <laughs> this is your yeah, because I burned that as an yeah. interrupt, right? Okay. He did. So he's gonna shoot up here with the Bren team, I believe. No, Chris got the Vickers is gonna fire up the hill over. Well, I mean, because the there's there's no point in fighting with the broken team anymore. Is there? Well. Um, you can't break think, again. No, I think if you hit them again and they take another shock, they fall back again. So if you can drive them okay, yeah, off, we're gonna, you can get yeah. two, two leaders. routes. We're going to machine gun them. Which is the so worst thing fours. in the world. Okay. It... Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and it's one team. No, uh, I got two teams there. I got okay. the machine gun and then these guys, but it, it hardly matters. So uh, three on the uh, machine guns. Okay. One dead and two three dead. more. Three. Yeah, they're in the open. No, you're broken. You don't. Oh, have they're this. pinned. Yeah, they're pinned. So you? Well, no. Are you pinned or broken? I'm both. Okay. <laughs> I'm both. So uh, yeah. So it's going to be uh, one dead. And, and two then the other squad or the other team. There's going to be two, two, more, two shots. more shots. So they're going to fall back. So check the leader. the leader. Yeah. It, no. No. So right, they're going to so ride off the table. Maybe. i got to get a low roll here. I need a double one or I'm pretty much toast. No. No. So eight plus six. They're gone. Yeah, that's going to do it for me. 
because I'm going to have to roll a bunch of bad things now. Yeah. The first bad thing is going to be uh, section routes. Mm -hmm. That's four. Or oh, section breaks, I'm sorry. Breaks, section yeah. breaks, uh, minus two. So you're down to a five. Yeah, <laughs> now, the hard, now the harsh part. So cocky, routing off the table. That's got to be minus two for sure. Senior leader routes. Uh, what am I looking at here? A three. Yeah, minus two more. So you're at three. Junior leader routes. That was a bad idea. Uh, uh, that's two. Yeah, well, two more. You're at one. It was a horrible idea. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a roll of the dice. What can I say? So that completely broke my force morale. That and the Vickers, so. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll be back. No. So in the end, uh, <laughs> Cocky and uh, Vesterman and the boys are going to pull off. Uh, it was a risk. I thought I would take it. Um, Honestly, I think get, taking 10 Vickers gun shots would have been, or 20 actually, would have been yeah, better. Uh, it was, uh, that's about as bad as it gets. I mean, I went from, what, 9 to 1 and... Yes. <laughs> within one phase yes yeah because i yeah that was bad but i thought you know what i usually have decent luck with these kind of rolls where i'm in fisticuffs i thought i could probably get them break them i'll be standing here uh maybe beat up to hell but i'll still be i'll still be here but yeah it didn't work out like that so i uh best uh cocky and the boys got their asses kicked i mean there's no nice way to put it they ran off the board and force morale difference of seven. I dropped eight or however many force morale was in one phase. So uh, the British are going to take, <coughs> excuse me, Hill 364 here. Again, no, I'm sorry. In the bolt action game, they did not. They got to Hill 364, but they did not take it. But this time I pulled back. Uh, the 88 is going to be abandoned. The BEF is going to take Hill 364. And we'll come back and uh, do a quick wrap up. Yeah, that was rough. That was brutal. Um, but you can see now what happens, uh, how, how fast it can go. I was saying mm -hmm. earlier we had, we I mean, went for hours without dropping a force morale, and then suddenly I dropped from eight to one. Yeah. Within five minutes. So it's, I think you jinxed it. It goes quick. It goes quick, especially when you lose, and then you start. Leader routings are the worst. Mm -hmm. If your leaders, if your leaders are out, you're screwed. And I didn't even realize that until after I was that close to the edge and then you shot at him. It's like, uh, it's not going to take much of a role for me to get this squad to, to route. And then I got two leaders in there, senior leader, junior leader, and a section route. And I get another Vickers gun that hasn't fired yet. And another Vickers gun in the route bastard that could fire. And even if I rolled the double one, add the six to that, got yeah. closer to the edge. Uh, we're, we were saying if you're in here, you could fire over the trees at least out definitely out to here so yeah he it was a bad decision mm -hmm. uh, i thought uh, maybe i could get a decisive win that i could maybe i don't know what i was going to do after that because i was going to be stuck out in the open yeah i mean so even maybe if not you, my best decision ever no because even if you're out in the open you would have been out in the open in front of two very pissed off vickers guns and, and a section and i would have had a lot of shock and a lot of shock yeah so probably it was a stupid idea Hey, I'm, I'm playing the part of Andre tonight. That's what he would have done. Uh, Andre would have charged the enemy, and uh, yeah, and he would have lost, <laughs> just like I did. <laughs> so yeah, it was a good game. Uh, it was slow moving, but Andre, uh, Robert was moving up methodically. He was setting himself up, dropping the smoke, which is good. Again, British. They're good. The, well, you you do a methodical attack. Yep, they are methodical. If nothing else, the British are methodical. And uh Yeah, thankful I, I I took um the two extra Vickers guns or the, the Oh yeah, what was your plan? What so was your plan? My plan actually, which uh, did not go according to plan. Well when does it? <laughs> um the last chain of command game I played. So but the plan was with this and this was to push this way and then flank the hill while the base of fire pins everything down. Naturally, once this became a massive German thing, and I didn't, I thought about bringing artillery. I should have. I'm surprised you didn't bring the barrage, personally. I thought about it, but when I had, when I was planning on playing the British, I had the I think I had the Matilda pregame barrage. I had the off-table uh, mortar barrage. 
And I think a drinks cabinet. <laughs> I thought about it. Um, and I probably could have, instead of the the Vickers gun and the the second Vickers and the sniper, I could have taken the barrage and an adjutant or a drinks cabinet. But basically the plan was, from these two, push this way and then up onto the hill. But as we said, once this became full of Germans, then it was, okay, move to this and push this way. In retrospect, I think I would have been better off pushing this way from the get-go, yeah, not being as afraid yeah. about open ground because I've got the smoke. all yeah. the smoke. Yeah. Plus, not only all the smoke, but if you deploy anywhere to shoot at me as I'm moving up, the Vickers guns are going to tear you up. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a, it was a hard spot for me. Just cause the two Vickers are pretty solid. I mean, ten mm -hmm. shots each. You're shooting out twenty shots. That's uh, that's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. That's a German squad plus. So yeah, my my plan was pretty much uh, well deploy the eighty eight in the woods with a squad like I did, and hold that. And I was gonna just look to see which way you went. Um, I was expecting you to push more this way, so I'd have to burn the chain of command to move the. Jump off point out of your way. Nah, well, I'm not Andre. <laughs> I was never gonna do a uh, bum rush on your on your jump off point. I wasn't I wasn't concerned about a bum rush per se as much as two of your squads trying to use the the jump off point to fix my one squad. So I gotta fight you to defend it. Nah, I think you would just give it up. You had 11 force morale. What's well, losing up? I well, mean, I wouldn't need to. I just move it 18 inches back that yeah, way. You could have moved it or just lost it. I mean, mm -hmm. big deal. Um, yeah, my so yeah, my plan was to counter where whatever side you went on, that's the side I was gonna have one squad here with the eighty eight. Yep. And the other two were just gonna go wherever you went. And he went this way, I put everything over here. Uh thinking back on it, I should have just I think just one German squad in this orchard mm -hmm. covering this area could have held you off for the yeah. whole game. Because you could never get enough firepower up here to counter me. Yeah, and I think that was this is it's attractive, but it's very deceptive if it's defended. I really think I would have been much better off pushing yeah. through the open. Yeah, especially together. Even if I did get a shot on you, if you had a couple squads together, you could have yeah. four teams maybe to split between. Yeah, now that I think about it, I should have just had one squad. I, one squad, you hold this orchard. You keep the BEF out of this side. Everyone else, focus on Hill 364. Yeah. That's what I should have done. I put too many squads over here. That was a mistake. So. I mean, you did tear up... Um, Downs his I did, yeah. section. And that was just, but I mean, ultimately that didn't mean anything to the game. It was nice. I mean, but, it, uh, if it was a those, Well, I did wound downs, but. Well, you did wound downs, and it was a campaign Cox is still game. There. Um, well, if it was a campaign game, I never would have charged you. <laughs> That's a uh, one off game type of thing. Let's see what happens. Let's yeah. uh, roll of the dice. Yeah, campaign game? No. I would have uh, played a lot well, differently. Well, it, it depends. If this, it depends if this was a. For example, a single platoon defending hill, whatever, and you thought you knew you were going to lose it, then it, the objective of inflicting casualties on me is might have been worth it. Yeah, and if it was a campaign game, I would not have brought the eighty eight. No, it is not very good. The only reason, the only thing it's good at is killing tanks, and you didn't bring any. So other than that, like I said earlier, it's pretty much just a. Uh, uh, I thought about fifteen or a seven point five yeah. centimeter infantry gun. I thought about is. bringing um, two brain carriers, but when I was looking at it, I wouldn't have. It would, that would have been six out of my fourteen. I would be down to eight. I couldn't have a good base of fire because I couldn't have two vickers and the. No, the brens uh, they wouldn't do as good. I got lucky with the brens in that uh, bolt action game just because Andre whiffed on his eighty eights. Yeah. Uh, in this game, it's a lot easier to hit uh, with an anti tank gun against a tank, and it's a lot easier to kill, especially with an ADA with like 12, uh, 12 uh, AP. <laughs> well, I mean, you would have had the advantage of the, the Bren carriers being small and going flat out all the time. Yeah, that would have been minus two. But it had been more than that. If I, I yeah, if this was a different game, a campaign, I probably would have not brought, I, I would not have brought this. I would probably would have brought a bunch of hard cover and just dug in on the hill mm -hmm. as, much, as much as I could and just waited. Yeah, try charging a uh, German squad in hardcover and see what happens to you. I You're going to die. Yeah, then you, then you yeah, then that would have changed your uh, mm -hmm. thing to a barrage. Yeah. So that's the beauty of this game, though. It's 
especially the campaigns, it changes the whole way you play. I mean, we came into this game knowing it was a one-off game and that nothing was going to happen. There was going to be no repercussions if we did something crazy like charge some guys. But, I mean, I didn't do anything that crazy except I got... No, I did. I got, yeah, you did. But I, <laughs> I, got I did something in, crazy. I got enamored by the hedgerows, forgetting that would actually hinder me as the attacker. It's, it looks like a good covered approach. It, it is. It's just hard to move, yeah. Yeah. Especially well, right through here because, I mean, mm -hmm. how long is it going to take? Especially if I was land here and you're trying to jump, there's no way. Yeah. That's why I just should have had one squad in here. Uh, anyway, anyway, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, Robert has taken Hill 364, so in the bolt action game, the Germans held it, barely. And in the chain of command game, the British have taken Hill 364. They've cut the corridor briefly, supplying the Panzers racing to the channel. But uh, don't worry, the Germans are going to come reopen it, and we will get to Dunkirk, and we will uh, uh, let the British get away. <laughs> so... Yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys liked this one. Let us know what you think, uh, how it compares to the bolt action game we played last week. And thanks to Robert for coming over. Check out our Patreon page. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, we got campaigns going. We got campaigns we've done. And our Facebook group, of course, uh, is kind of our main social media thing. We have Twitter as well. We have Instagram. But most of the stuff happens on the Facebook, uh, the Facebook group, so... Uh, if you want to see what's going on here and just see a lot of uh, interaction between us and uh, a lot of just uh, other other hobbyists, and uh, go check it out. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and sign off. We'll say thank you, and we'll see you next time.